Namaste. I am Anjan and here I am going to show you some very easy movement and some yoga postures for seniors. You can sit on the chair, you can sit on the sofa, even you can sit on the floor or mat. Right now I am sitting on the chair, it's easy for you to do. So at first keep your back straight. We are going to do very simple some breathing exercise with some easy movements. Hands on your knees. Now push your chest, two hands up and open. Inhale like here. As you are exhaling, hands on your knees and roll your spine back. Now push your chest, open hands, face up, chin up and round your back. This one makes you more stretch for your upper chest, your shoulders and your neck. As you do this one, like you are expanding your lungs. So better, very useful practice for better breathing. You can do this one standing movements. I mean stand up and then do this or sitting on the chair or you can do uh, sitting on the floor. Five to go. Inhale, five exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. Up in, exhale roll. Last one to go and exhale. You can see I do have one stick. So I'm going to use this stick. You can take longer stick or this kind of medium sticks. So two hands up and then back as much as possible. And then release, go down. And then again up. Keep your hands straight and then back to before. I'm going to do around eight times, maybe 10 and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Five up, five down. Six up, six down. Seven up, seven down. Last one up, exhale back to before. And then open your knees, hands on your knees. So you can see my heels much more wider than my hips. So hands here, slightly move front, front side of the chair, but make sure you are very stable with the chair or if you are sitting on your uh, sofa. So elbows bend, bend front, move your body any side and then roll your back. This is very useful practice for releasing tension from your lower back. Actually, not only for seniors, anyone can do this. If you are sitting too long in office, if your back is very steep and tight, just do this movement a couple of times. It really helps to release tension from your lower back. Well, some of you manage to go even deeper, left shoulder close to your other knee, right shoulder other side. So you can get a little bit twisting feelings. Spine as well, less to the other side. Normal breathing, or if you want to go Inhale halfway, exhale back, inhale half, exhale back. That's right. Two more to go. And then sit tall. Keep your back straight any one hand up i'm lifting my right hand and then side bend as much as possible but be careful with your chair up and release other hand up and bend center 
and release you can do this one even standing one as well so separate your legs right hand up bend towards your left side center release up in other side center release or you can sit on the chair as you are comfortable and then other side Up again, release one side and left hand up, down. Good. Let's do some sitting, uh, twisting, uh, sitting on the chair. Usually we do this twist. Let's do to today something bit different. So sitting any one side of the chair. So keep your back straight, hands up and then twist towards your left side. So grab the chair and twist your spine, look back. Two hands up, same side twist. Once again, up, twist. Up, release your hands and uh, move your body the other side of the chair. So you are here, hands up and twist here, look back, back to before, twist from your lower back, mid back, upper back, look back, hands up center, exhale. hands up center and release your hands and then let's stand up and then you can grab the chair or if you don't want to wear, if you don't want to hold the chair that's fine heels up and down heels up and down three up three down Four up if you want to make good balance and down. Five up, five down. Six up, be careful. Exhale. Feel free to close your legs if you want to create more challenge. If you are fine with this, that's okay. Last three to go. Two to go. One more and down. Next one. So sit on the chair. Each time you have to get up. So hands front, stand up. If you want to add something more, heels up. Heels down, sit on the chair. Again up. Or just heels, I mean stand tall, that's good enough. Up again. We'll do 10 times. Up. Four and five and six, seven, stand up, eight, nine. and 10 and release your hands now we are going to do some more postures and movement lying on the back for this postures we need two props small towel and two blocks so at first lying on the back and then Pull your two knees to chest and release. Pull your two knees to chest and release. Even you can do one knee by other knee, I mean one by one, that's fine too. And then again, pull your knees to chest. Pull your knees to chest. Pull your knees to chest. 
release your right leg release your left leg two hands up over your head try to touch the floor and then back to before so inhale up this one gives you nice and good stretch for your upper back and shoulders and uh, better breathing as well so this is yoga breathing inhale hands up exhale back to before four up back to before five up back to before six up exhale seven up seven down eight up eight before two more two back last one last exhale legs together your right leg up and release left leg up release right leg up release left leg don't go over you should know where you have to stop so this one gives you nice and good flexibility and some strength for, from your hip and your thigh muscles this is three running we'll do two more times right leg up right leg down left leg up left leg down and take some rest fold your both legs heels together you can open your hands or hands under your head as you are comfortable i want to open my hands here now open your knees and close is butterfly legs open knees and close three open three close open four close five open five close six open and close separate your legs slightly take your right leg up keep your right thigh tight hands under your knee and thigh pull your knee to chest if you want to use your towel feel free to use your towel so straighten your leg that's okay use towel hold for 10 seconds after holding 10 seconds grab the towel use your same hand left hand relax left side right leg down right side and then up right leg all the way to right side and center one more time center time to fold your leg and switch your side up 10 seconds your breathing should be normal and you can get nice and good stretch from back of your knee and thigh grab the towel right hand right side time to move your leg down to your left center left center left center and fold your leg keep your towel down stay here for a few seconds need to use your block keep your block in between your knees release your hands next to body we'll do three times bridging up and hold for 5 4 3 2 and release 
two more to go. Up, five, four, three, two, release. Last one, up, five, four, three, two, and release. Keep the block under your lower back or your under your sacrum. Where is your spinal cord going to end? Feel free to fold your legs and stay here for a few seconds. In case if you want to use extra block, use your block under your sacrum on the other block. It's not necessary. If you are happy with one block, that's fine. And then release your one leg. Back to before. You can hold a bit longer, that's fine. Center. Feel free to open your knees, butterfly legs. You can practice with blocks or without blocks as you are comfortable. Close your legs, open your knees, drop your two knees to your one side and then pull your knee down, right hand right side. Keep your right shoulder blade on the mat, face to your right. Back to center, drop your two knees to your left side. Center, pull your knees to chest, just keep nice and good circle a couple of times five times or six. If you like to do more, around 10 times, that's okay. And feel free to release your two legs and take good rest. Here, I suggest you use your two blocks, keep your two blocks under your two thighs, like here. If you have poster at home or if you have pillow at home, you can use that poster under your thighs. It feels really good. And then take your towel, small towel, roll your towel and keep this towel under your first vertebrae. So your throat will be relaxed your neck will be protected on this towel. Relax your hands two side of your body. And you can take good rest around 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes. If you want to hold longer, that's fine. Some of you, maybe during this time, you want to play some good music, you want to listen to your favorite music, soft music, feel free or just relax here, watch your belly movement. You can feel that when you are inhaling, your belly going up, as you exhaling, it's going down. So focus on your breathing, on your belly, and just relax.
After a couple of minutes, release your blocks, release your towel, legs together, two hands up over your head, interlock your fingers, palm facing out. Keep your hands super tight, keep your legs super tight and stretch your whole body. Imagine someone pulling your legs front side of your mat, someone pulling your hands over your head. Three, two, and release your hands. Fold your legs, turn your body any side of your mat. Time to sit up. And sit tall. You can sit on your mat, sit on your chair, whatever, whatever you like. So this, all this movement is very useful and very easy, not only for seniors, even youngest too. So let's practice and keep healthy. And thank you so much for time. Thank you so much for your practice and energy. Namaste.